Now, I don't know if any of you guys watching this live in a big city like I do. Uh, I live in Denver, which is, you know, it's not the biggest city in the world. It's like 3 million population metro-wise, um, like 600,000 Denver proper. But there's these things called street sweepers, and they are the most useless fucking thing on the planet. So <clears throat> we're going to get into it. So if you don't know what a street sweeper is, I'm going to show you here right now. And a lot of this is unrelated, so don't look at this. Uh, I didn't prepare the street sweeper vid, so let's see what we can find. Street sweeper. Gonna street sweeper? I think that's a, that's a different kind of street street sweeper, uh, I'm gonna assume. Fuck, dude. Um, okay, I might have to listen to that. Not right now. Uh, street sweeper for children? No, I don't want that. It streeps the sweep properly. Everything you need to know about street sweepers. Here you go. Or how does a street sweeper work? Uh, one of these ones will be good. This is more modern, 11 months ago, so let's go. I'm gonna need Hello, for this. Hello, my name is Heck. One second, guys. All right, let's go. Everything you need to know about street sweepers. We will be street sweepers masters by the end of this. And yeah, this is what street sweeping is, guys. Hello, my name is Heck Hernandez. fuck, that's loud. I've been with that band for almost two years. I'm a street sweeper in Manhattan Beach. And now let's go sweep. <laughs> All right. I think that's turned down a good bit f for you guys and for me because my ears are fucking dying there. Holy shit. Not so fast, Hector. Before we jump into the street sweeper, let's hear from Thomas to learn a little bit. Oh, yeah. We got to hear from the man, Thomas. What is this shit, Thomas? Lay it down for us. Tommy boy. I don't even know which one is Thomas. They showed like three fucking dudes. Okay. Well, let's see. Hi, I'm Thomas Wedding. Oh, that's Thomas. Thomas Wedding? The dude's name is Wedding? No way. His wedding must have been sick, dude. I've been with the company for 10 years. I'm the street sweeping supervisor for Athens Services, and we're going to learn about street sweepers. This is a Timco 600 street sweeper. Okay, dog, no need to flex now. Fuck. It has uh, dual steering, so it steers on the left and the right. In the middle of the console, uh, <laughs> there's a control panel that controls each side. The control Look at this bullshit. They think they're so important. Look at me. I'm I'm like a pilot, but I'm just just street, sweeping the street. Well, let's go on here. You guys don't know yet. Where the driver can operate all functions of a street sweeper for both the left and the right side. These features include broom spotlights for early morning trips, a misting system. Gotta have those lights. Levels low, and even the tilt of the brooms can be adjusted. Okay. All cabs are equipped wow. with backup cameras to keep drivers and the community safe. Wow. Let's see what from I what? <laughs> from what? And what? What? What is a dude behind a street sweeping mobile gonna do about a danger seeing in the back camera? What is? Huh? Okay. Other safety features this truck has. I guess just another camera out there in the world. I guess is the is the logic behind that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're all about safety. These spot mirrors are very helpful. Uh, when okay, motherfucker, I don't care about the mirrors. Around. I know how that works. I know what- God damn, why is it connected to the volume? Go on. But yeah, you know, you can see. Look. See, here we go. This is what we're going. Left and the right rotate as the sweeper slowly drives along the curb, while a third brush and vacuum, called the pickup head, work in tandem to suck up the litter as it is thrown underneath the truck. The litter is collected in the back of the truck, also known as the hopper. The hopper can hold up to seven. Okay, now, I will say, this is a very uh, advanced one. Now, the ones that are in Denver are not similar to this. Have a lot of interesting you will see uh, pretty much this, but minus the suckage. Or, like, you know, maybe there, is, there might even be the suckage on the ones in Denver. This little, this, this, the, I'm using the science term, of course, the suckage. This piece that, like, sucks the litter up. That, that shit... You know, it might even be in the Denver ones, but guess what? In theory, this scoops up in there perfectly fine, but you know what? It doesn't work that way in real life, you know. The the what the way this functions and what it would do, all it would do is just go along the street, flutter the leaves around, and they'd maybe be moved like you see how they're like inward here? They would not all get sucked up. There would be like a good hard trail of whatever there is. And I love how like there is clearly nothing, and they, they like, totally put this shit here on purpose, and this is, like, a super already clean street, but, like, 
Fuck. In th- like, okay. And you know what? That's not even the worst part. Like, even if the street sweepers, like, do work and do their function, that's not the worst part. Um, that's fine. I can live with it. The worst part is that the city of fucking Denver t- t- takes it upon them to literally charge the fucking... To, like, fund their own city based off of street sweeping tickets. <laughs> At least, like... Because, like, it's it's bullshit. Because when the street sweepers come through, when this fucking guy, when Tim or whatever the fuck, when Joe, it's Tim, cool. when I Hector think- Mendez is coming down the fucking street, if your car is there, the his little partner or whoever else, somebody, let's see, where's Tim? Where, where's his little partner? This fucker, this fucker is going to give you a ticket if, you, if your car is parked there. And it doesn't matter if it's in front of your fucking house or anything like that. You're fucked, motherfucker. Now, you know, you might be asking yourself, like, well, hey, man, it's just move your fucking car, man. It's just, like, one day out of the month, which it is, which, you know, is fine. You know, I've had some situations here in Denver where my car wasn't even on the street that I live when the street sweeping happened anyway, so it was like it didn't even exist. But, like, the thing that fucking pisses me off (laughs) about this is this past semester, so not the one currently, but the one before, the way my schedule lined up, the time of day they would hit my street, because these fuckers would hit streets at different time. We got fucking Joe over here hitting. He's hitting fucking north side of town. Hector's hitting south, you know. It's it's a team, it's a team teamwork here. They're tag team in the city. They're bukkaking the, the citizens, the streets of Denver. And the thing is, they come at one one specific hour in the day. And that one hour in the day last semester was the one hour I had in between work and classes. So I would just come home and and like as soon as I would come home, the street sweepers would come through or they would come through like 30 minutes later. It was like perfectly the amount of time I would spend to eat lunch, change and then go to classes. And this dude would be like, I'm coming through. You can't- this fucking dude. Have a bad day. Comes down the fucking street, and he's like, yeah, buddy, you're fucked, pal. Here's a fucking hundred dollar ticket. Fuck you. And you know, I think that's pretty fucked up and annoying. Especially when, for the most part, all they're doing, effectively, is just like, oh, I'm fucking spressing the leaves up around. You know, it's pretty bullshit, and I just kind of wanted to rant about that, to be honest with you. And I have literally this past this past year, because of that last semester, have gotten like eight fucking tickets for that bullshit. Cause it's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Do you want me to like go park like a ten minute walk away, walk there, walk back? Like that's just stupid. I mean I theoretically could do that, but that's just fucking un- unnecessary and ridiculous. But yeah, that's that's my fucking rant.